Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, today we are gonna talk about my favorite long setup. Uh, it's a setup that I've played for quite a while, but I wanted to bring this one to your attention as recently there was an extremely good opportunity on this that I was able to catch a healthy piece of it uh, with Brian as well. We'd been talking about this uh, trader tax CPA in, in the MIC room, been talking about it for several days, <coughs> and the trade was on Home Depot or ticker HD, but what I want to talk to you about is the pattern itself. So I want to explain this and how I find it, um, and that way that you can look for it too. So let's just give your, uh, just give a chart example here, and pardon my drawings um, on a laptop. So uh, actually, let's just do away with that. We're just going to look at a line. So let's explain the first green day. So first green day would be something like, this where um, <clears throat> actually let's use red be something like this so you get a big red day another red day and then that's a bad wick right there we ain't gonna stick with that one yeah right there like that and then you got another red day right here and then Here's what you get. You can either get a gap down or you can ideally get a gap up. But here is what you want to see out of this. You want to see a green close right here. First green day. First day that it is closed green in this fat sell off right here. Okay? So. Here is what I like to see. Here's the big indicator for me, and a lot of people say it's useless, whatever. Um, I use it as an added confirmation. Is uh, And I'll just type this out for you. I like to see the RSI less than or equal to 35. Okay? The reason why I use 35 is just so I can catch the ones that are, you know, 30. 31 and they're approaching under 30. What is over under 30 or under 35? It means it's approaching oversold. Um, and these are daily candles, by the way. Uh, and this is, um, I'm just going to denote this. This is 14, which means that's how many days it looks back. So it's 14, it's a standard, uh, is less than 35, and this is going to be based on a daily. So and the, and the buy signal is actually very, very, uh, very obvious. Uh, it's very timed as well. So first green day, sells off massively. First green close right here. It's the first one to close green. You're watching the chart. You're looking for this in the end of the close, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that. Looking for that real clear indication that, hey, this is probably going to close green and there's no chance that this is going to just resell off back to red. And uh, and, and then your swing is, uh, I generally will swing these uh, for a couple days or a week or two or maybe just overnight. Uh, but these are the indications of that and what I look for. Okay, now let's jump into actual um, chart. So... Here is Home Depot, and here's how it has played out, okay? So here's what I look for, the big sell-off right here. That's the sell-off I wanted. 
I put the 200 moving average on my chart because I want it to be in an uptrend. I don't want it to be breaking down below this 200 moving average. If I do <clears throat> buy the breakdown uh, first green day and it's below the 200, I'm going to be selling it really quick. Um, because it could run into sellers when it gets close to this. It could run into algorithmic selling. Um, algorithmic selling could be triggered based on you know a 200 moving average or a moving average crossover and so on and so forth. So, But HD, if you'll add RSI, and just go to that one right there, 70 and 30, and we'll just use while, yep, same settings like this, apply that. And if you look right down here, it is just so perfect. Bink! That little blue line means that it just barely went oversold. Okay, And really good companies, when they go oversold, it's almost always a great bounce opportunity in the long run uh, and even in the short term. So notice here what happens. Gap down on earnings more gap, more gap, or it gaps up here. See, this is why you wait for the close. See, it gaps up and sells off even more, okay? And then it opens basically break even, tries to push green and can't, fails to. Now look at this. This is what a bullish reversal candle can look like. I don't know what this ver what this candle actually is called, but um, it obviously is clear that you have a big wick at the bottom, which means that there was a lot of buying involved in that candle um, and the volume was strong. So let's actually dive into this. What I look what I actually did here. So hey traders this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.